Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Razak Khan bin Nusum Ali Khan, and uh, my question is. Sorry, can I request someone to get a glass of water for me, and a chair if you don't mind, and a chair here please, so that I can. Can someone have a chair? Yes. Okay, you can ask the question, no problem. My question is, is Islam a sexist religion because women seem to get more privileges over men? Thank you. Can you repeat the question? I didn't hear your question. Islam is a? Is Islam a sexist religion? Sexist? Yes. Because women seem to get more privileges over men. Ah, is Islam a sexist religion? That women get more privilege than men. MashaAllah. This is the first time I've been asked this question. <laughs> I've given a lecture many a times, women rights in Islam, and I always say that so because today the media says that Islam subjugates the women. And when I give my talk, I always say that no one should object that Islam gives more rights to women and it's the first time somebody is asking me a question that does Islam give more privilege to the women? Yes, compared to other religion, I agree with you. <laughs> compared to other religion, Islam gives the maximum rights to women. But as a whole, the men and women in Islam are equal. But equality doesn't mean identicality. They are equal but they are not identical, they're equal. And I do agree with you that what the media portrays that women are subjugated, they're kept behind, they're backward. I do agree with you that compared to other religion, Islam gives the maximum right. So that is the reason in my talk, I talk about the rights women get. So when a person hears my talk, he would think that the women are considered superior. Women are not superior, they are same as men, both are equal, but equality doesn't mean identicality, and I will give you a small example. If in a class, two students, they get 80 out of 100, both come out first. Both get 80 out, student A and student B. When you see the answer sheet, we come to know that there are 10 questions, each question carrying 10 marks. In question number one, student A gets 9 out of 10, question number B gets 10 out of 10. In question number two, student B gets 9 out of 10 and student A gets 9 out of 10. So in question number one, student A has a degree of advantage over B. In question number two, student B has the advantage over A. In the remaining questions, 3 to 10, both get 8 out of 10. So if you add up, both get 80 out of 100. In 3 to 10, both are identical, exactly equal. But in question number one, student A has the degree of advantage. In question number two, student B has the degree of advantage. For example, if a robber enters my house, I will not say I believe in women's liberalization, men and women are equal. I will not tell my wife to go and fight. I will not tell my daughter to go and fight. Because Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 34, that Almighty God has given most strength to the men. Quran says, that the men are the protectors. Many people think Qawwam means superior. No. Qawwam comes from the root word Akama, meaning to stand up for. So it is the duty of the man to stand up for the woman. And the verse continues, because Almighty God has given more strength to the woman. So in strength, the men have a degree of advantage. On the other hand, if you read the Hadith of Muhammad in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 8, in the book of manners, Adab, chapter number two, hadith number two, a man approaches the prophet and asks that who deserves the maximum love and companionship in this world? The prophet said, your mother. The man asked after that who? The prophet said, your mother. The man asked after that who? The prophet repeated for the third time, your mother. The man asked after that who? Then the prophet said, your father. That means 75% of the love and companionship goes to the mother. 25% goes to the father. Two-third, uh, uh, three-fourths of the love and companionship goes to the mother. 
when food goes to the father. In short, the mother gets the gold medal, she gets the silver medal, as well as the bronze medal. The father has to be satisfied with the consolation prize. So here, the women have a degree of advantage. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the mother which bore you for nine months, you cannot compensate even if you give a mountain of gold. So here, the women have a degree of advantage. There, the men had a degree of advantage. So depending upon situation, sometimes men have a degree of advantage, sometimes women. Many other places, they're exactly equal. As Allah says in Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse 35, Inna al-Muslimina wal-Muslimati. That from believing men and women, for those men and women who give zakat, who pray, and the verse continues. So most of the places, they are same. In some aspects, the men have the advantage. In some aspects, the women. So hope that answers the question. Ten major signs which are connected to one another. As the Prophet والسلام, says in another hadith, there are like beads in a string or a necklace. If you cut it, all the beads will start falling one after the other. And that's how the ten major signs will occur. The moment one of them will occur, then the others and the other ones will follow.